Hey guys, John B here again really quick. I just want to do a couple different benchmark testing that we just got in the Motorola Droid 3 dual core processor for 1 gigahertz Texas Instruments OMAP 4 processor. So it's definitely up there in terms of uh, the other offerings available on Verizon's lineup. And let's just run a couple of different benchmark tests and see how it performs. But overall, just right off the bat, I just want to quickly tell you that it's a fantastic experience just right off the bat. It's very fluid and responsive. You could tell swiping between all the home screens here. Pretty phenomenal. On top of that, you have all these glitzy looking uh, visual effects to it. So it's very heavy in that aspect and it's running fairly smoothly so far. So we're pretty content uh, with what we're seeing. So uh, let's quickly run the first test here. Let's go do Quadrant, of course. Already downloaded here. So we're going to run this and see what kind of uh, figures it's going to put in here. Now, seeing that it has a dual core processor, it should run this uh, test pretty fast uh, compared to some other devices out there. Kind of interested to see what it puts up. Um, as we know, there's uh, we've been doing this for a while now with different devices. Most recently, saw the uh, the uh, T-Mobile My Touch 4G slide, and that achieved the score, a quadrant score, I believe, of 2,000. So let's see how this one goes. Right now, the graphical test here, running at a smooth 30 frames per second, it looks very nice indeed. It's going to wait for this here. And some of the other things noteworthy about it is that it brings 27% faster multitasking performance over the Droid 2 Global. So that's pretty pretty nice here. Considering that the Droid 2 Global um, packed a 1.2 GHz processor, I believe. So this puts in a little bit over 2000, 2076 uh, to be exact here. So still on par with what we saw with the, uh, motor, with the t mobile My Touch 4G slide most recently. Let's run this test again really quick and see what it gets. And as we all know, not everyone's going to base the performance of a handset purely on, on a benchmark scores. It's ultimately going to come down to the actual platform experience, and it's going to vary for each and every one out there. And, um, of course, you know that the, uh, the glitzy looking presentation of this customized interface does contribute to probably lower scores, um, as we all know, as opposed to a stock uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread experience. So let's wait for this to load up here. Now this is pretty interesting here. This 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 uh, this test right here is running at 12 frames per second, slower than um, some what we see in other devices. Surprisingly, same thing as this one here, 23 frames per second. We usually see 30 frames per second in most high-end devices out there. Now this time, wow, that they put in a, a score of 2440, so a little bit higher. So that's pretty good. So we'll keep on doing this a few more times later on and see what we get. Um, we'll post the uh, information on our website here in the article. So let's show you the other test that I ran already, the Antune 2 benchmark scores here. And with the MyTouch 4G slide recently, we managed to get a total score, I believe, like 4,000 something. And this one here puts it up at a whopping 5,033 for an overall score. So quite impressive, to say the least. And when you go into the score chart, um, it's uh, definitely up there. It beats the Motorola Zoom. Also has a dual core processor, NVIDIA Tegra 2 chipset. This one goes a little bit above that. Still kind of on par with what you see with the LG Optimus 2X. But of course, uh, as we all know, the Samsung Galaxy S2 puts up uh, some, some significant scores with uh, Antutu. So uh, pretty, pretty high up there, Mark. But it's kind of close. Um, and so far, we're kind of excited and pretty happy with the uh, performance of the handset. So that's it for right now, guys. So I'll have the, uh, we'll have the uh, article on our site shortly. And if you want to learn more about the Motorola Droid 3, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.